Okay, Kyle. Well, it's time for us to get going and get your watch <clears throat> fully torn down here. We already found a few pieces, um, so now it's time to get the rest of the rest of the parts. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll have too many surprises. screw reveals itself. Wonderful. Well, that helps. Also loosens up your movement quite a bit. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's what we wanted to see. All right, there's your stem. It's a little bent. Yeah, your crown is, is pretty bent. Um, if it's just the crown, it might be okay. Boy, that's that's pretty rough. I'll see if I can do much do something with that, but that is super bent. And there is that lovely dial. Look how beautiful that is. Underneath underneath that crystal was a dial that just is so pristine. Look how lovely that is. Boy, this is gonna look nice when we're done. Excited. My fingers are a little stiff today. I was I actually replaced the clutch in my car yesterday, which is a fairly serious undertaking. <laughs> but I got it done. It's got a new clutch. My hands are a little grubby because 19, 1980s BMW is a Often a greasy enterprise. Greasy, greasy. Okay, get your hands here. Okay, let's get your dial off. One six, and your case back is a one seven. Perfect. Well, that's good to see. All right, there it is. The bare plate of the movement. We're gonna jewel this port right here and uh, clean everything and we'll be back. Okay. We're back. Okay, so everything's out of the cleaner and ready to go. Let's have a quick peek at all your parts and goodies here. So cool. And another tray, in fact. 
more stuff. Um, so we're going to get going. We're going to start the reconstruction process. Um, just to point out, you have a new jewel in your main plate. That's right here. That's for your lower arbor port. And you also have a jewel in your bridge here. That's part of your what holds your barrel in place. So those are new and perfect for you. Ready to go. Okay. So let's start our process. Okay, it's time for the fun part. And there it is, it's running. I wonder when the last time that happened. Under its own power, once again. Okay, and there we go. Let's take a look at it on the time grapher and we'll see how we did. Uh, well, I had a suspicion this was gonna be a good one, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this good. I mean, just in the time to get the camera rearranged, um, the amplitude has gone to its happy place. This is pretty spectacular. Now it's gonna vary a little bit when I adjust things, but wow, what a great start. This falls into the category of a watch that was probably uh, vibrated apart and didn't, didn't run, so it was put away, and I'll assume. Um, let's see if that helps. Nope. And then it just sat and decided to... Uh... Nope, I did go the right way. You know, it just sat and sat and sat, I'm sure. Which is good for these <laughs> in terms of performance now. Wow, it was a good runner. All right, so we're gonna let this finish breaking in and we'll be back. Okay, Kyle, well, uh, break-in has gone very well. And so that means we're over to the calendar side where we're gonna finish up putting things together and then it's off to get the dial and the hands and everything else installed and get you back in the case. So we're close. We're really close. Perfect. All right, dial and hands are next. 
Okay, Kyle, we're back in the case and we're ready to get everything finished up. We got a couple more little pieces that were actually uh, off of your <laughs> movement when we opened it up, but we're going to re-secure them back to where they should be. That's how that's supposed to work. Okay. And there it is. There is your amazing, beautiful dial. 6139. 6015 from 1971. It just came out fantastic. Look at that dial case is actually in really good shape. I didn't polish this. This is just a cleanup. Simple, simple cleanup. A little soap and water and some, just some scrubbing. Um, but boy, it really turned out nice. What a great looking watch. That blue dial is so sweet. Okay, well, um, service went extremely well. Once we got everything sorted out and um, all the loose parts accounted for um, it just it just took to service amazingly well uh, it's running fantastic everything is functioning exactly as it should you can let the chronograph run I was able to straighten out your crown uh, which is nice because that was pretty badly bent um, I didn't mess with your hands very much I basically left everything cosmetic except for the crystal uh, exactly as it was and I think that really preserves the the watch uh, in terms of its state as your dad wore it um, there's the date and there's the day turnover and now that we're in the sort of safe zone we can adjust those um, using the quick feature you just push in here Today is Saturday. I'm not sure. It's the fifth. So, whoops. Oh, now we're back. And the fifth. There we go. Well, Kyle, this is a great watch. A real tribute to your dad to get it, get it restored and get it put back right. Um, let's just go over the few minor things that we had to do. Your pusher seals and your crown seal, they were just toast. They were so rock hard. As soon as I went to take them, they just shattered away. But you've got new ones. There's your um, bushing that we replaced with a jewel for your mainspring arbor port. Uh, there's your original crystal that will come home, or the crystal. There's your case pack seal. And that's it. Um, you had some incorrectly sized uh, spring bars. I'll go ahead and put some 19s in there and return those to you. Those were um, not the right ones for this watch. Usually um, a lot of, at least, you know, Swiss watchmakers over the years, they had 20s as their standard size. Um, I went ahead and cleaned the bracelet. Uh, so that's ready to come back. I'll put that back on so you can you can wear it when it gets out of the box. Otherwise, it's just a really splendid, really nice, clean example of what some people call the, the blue version of the, blue, of the Bruce Lee. Um, of course, that's just a, just a name, um, but these are, these are really, really great watches. I, I love these blue ones. They just have that amazing sort of sheen to the dial. All right, well... Thanks again, Kyle. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, thanks for watching.